This is the Parker Lord MicroStrain 3DM GQ7 Sensor Connect Entrop Client Tutorial. The Entrop Client feature in Sensor Connect enables you to provide third party RTK corrections to the GQ7 through Sensor Connect. This is helpful if you don't have Sensor Cloud RTK coverage in your area. You can check at rtk.sensorcloud.com slash coverage. Or if you have a subscription with a provider you would like to use. There are three ways to RTK. Option one is 3DM RTK dongle plus Sensor Cloud RTK network. Option two is third party entrop via 3DM RTK plus Sensor Cloud RTK. And option three is third party entrop via your own internet connection through Sensor Connect desktop app. Today, I will be demonstrating option three. You can learn more about these options in the video titled Three Ways to RTK. Here, we are running the Sensor Connect desktop app on a Windows PC, and in the upper right hand corner, we verify Sensor Connect is up to date. Next, we verify that we have an internet connection and access to ports is not blocked by a URL Defender app like Zscaler. Now we plug the USB to DE9 cable into the PC and the main port of the GQ7 respectively. And in the upper left hand corner, the device auto enumerates. We select that device and we see the green dot appear, which verifies the GQ7 is streaming data to Sensor Connect. If the green dot was not present, the GQ7 would not be streaming data to Sensor Connect and you would have to press resume. Now we move to the advanced section and select the Entrop Client tile. Here, in the tile dialog box, we see there are multiple fields to enter credentials. First, let's enter host and port. I switched to my provider's website where I have set up an account. Here in Vermont, we use the Vermont Cores network. We search for host and port values, copy and return to Sensor Connect. Back in the tile dialog box, we enter them in their respective fields and press fetch mount points. In the upper right hand corner, the green shade and text of the notification verifies the mount points have successfully been updated. Next, I return to my provider's website and I find the mount point that is proximal to my location. For us here in Williston, Richmond is proximal. We return to Sensor Connect and search for the Richmond mount point ID in the drop down, select it, and enter my username and password I've established with my provider. Moving on to device COM port, we click the drop down to remember which devices are currently enumerated. Next, we close the tile dialog box and use a USB to DE9 cable, plug the USB end into another USB port on the PC, and the DE9 into the aux port of the GQ7. We return to the tile, click the drop down, and see COM17 has appeared, corresponding to the aux port of the GQ7. This is important as all RTK corrections are passed through the aux port of the GQ7. Next, select the desired device baud rate and press connect. I will select 115.2 as that is the default for the GQ7. In the upper right hand corner, the green shade and text verify the Entrop client has started. Under the device list for the GQ7, we see an antenna has appeared and it is shaded blue. This verifies corrections are being received and if we hover over the antenna, the latency is displayed currently 0.23 seconds. Back at the Entrop client tile, we see two buttons have appeared, a pause streaming button and a stop streaming button. Pressing the pause streaming button and returning to the device list, we see the antenna has turned orange, indicating that corrections have been paused. If we press start streaming, we see the antenna returns to blue and the notification verifies the entrop stream has resumed. The stop streaming button stops the stream entirely as verified by the notification. Thankfully, once you have entered your credentials successfully into the entrop client tile, they are saved in memory. And next time you want to start streaming corrections, simply press connect and the Entrop stream starts. If you are using a different data collection device other than Sensor Connect, such as a Jetson Xavier or a Raspberry Pi, a helpful feature is the ability to unplug the cable connected to the main port of the GQ7 from the PC once the GQ7 is configured and plug the main port into your data collection device. This enables you to stream corrections to the GQ7 while using your different data collection device. We unplug the main port from the GQ7 and can see from the blue shade of the antenna that corrections are still being streamed. Note, the device needs to remain powered. In a two USB setup, this isn't an issue, but if the aux port is plugged in via serial without a separate power source and the main port is unplugged, communication will be lost and the entrop streaming will stop. This concludes the SensorConnect Entrop Client tutorial.